Gaffer, off the back of a fantastic win on Saturday, how has everyone been coming back into the building this morning? Yeah, look positive. You know, it was a it was a long journey, but well worth it when we got the three points. And um, yeah, the boys have come back into training today, sort of a mixture of what we did with the group. But um, yeah, good spirits, and as you expect after getting three points um, away from home. Uh, just looking back on Saturday's game, what positives and negatives do you take from it? I'm sure you must have watched back the game in the last few days. Yeah, look, being completely honest, we probably didn't play our best. Probably seen the um, team play a lot better over the course of this season, not pick up three points. But um, I was really pleased with the. The fact that they didn't let their heads drop on, giving that goal away just before half time. You know, the boy took it really well, but it was a little bit of a mistake from us and what we were trying to do. Um, it had been really easy for the boys to feel sorry for themselves going into half time or going into second half. And um, I think that was the biggest thing that I took out of the game is that um, the togetherness and the spirit the boys showed um, and the willingness to keep doing the right things to try and get yourself back into the game. And, um, and also the impact that you know the subs made, you know, to come and change the game because it's never about the style of it's about the collective. And I think. Um, as a group, we've got the victory at the weekend. As we keep saying, and you're still getting to know the, uh, the lads since coming yourself. But in terms of attitude, do you, do you think the result really says to everyone around around the league that we haven't given up this season yet? Yeah, I think, and I think that's been the biggest um, message within the football club and with us as playing staff and coaching staff is saying that we've still got lots to play for until someone tells me it's mathematically not possible for us to get into the player positions, we'll keep pushing for it. Will it be a tough ask? Of course it will be. We, you know, we've got to be realistic to where we are and where the other teams are. But I think every year, um, then playoff places, someone sneaks in last minute. You know, last year I remember Grimsby, you know, being seventh and then what they did. Will it have, take us going on a really good run and others around us fought in a little bit? Yeah, it will. But um, while that focus is there to try and do that, we're going to keep doing it. And I'm, I'm not, listen, I'm sure that's the same for. Solihull Moors and South End and Wildstone, all the teams in and around us where we are at the moment because we're sort of all in that position where we're outside of the playoffs but we've sort of got a bit of a gap to the lower he reaches of the league. So, um, yeah, full focus on trying to do as well as we can, knowing it would be tough, but why not? You know, you've got to give everything a right good go. How is the squad then looking for Saturday? Any knocks coming out of, uh, uh, sorry, for Tuesday? Any knocks coming out of uh, Saturday's game? No, look, we was obviously unsure of how Maro would be, you know, first. I played 80 odd minutes, nearly 90 minutes, first game back, but he, he's recovered really well from me, he seems in, good, in a good place. Um, Birdie picked up a knock in the game, but he seems okay today. Um, and Angelo's trained today as well, so that's a real positive as well for me and the group. So, um, yeah, I think, I think we're alright, but you never know, there's 24 hours to go before we're travelling in the game and stuff like that. But as it stands right now, yeah, everyone seems to come out of the game really well. Head of tomorrow's fixture then, what qualities do you see from Mark Williams inside? Yeah, look, they're, they're, they're a team that tries to play football, you know, and um, any team that wins or comes out of that Conference North, National North, you know, have got to be a serious group of players, you know, and I think they had a real good season last year. Lost some important players in the summer, you know, we're doing well for someone else in our league now, so I'd imagine that would have been a tough summer for them, but I think in, in the second half of this season, they're looking at their recent results, you know, the, the teams that they've lost to recently, so recently the last sort of 10, 15 games have been Notts County, Wrexham, Chesterfield, maybe there's one against South End, but I think they went down to 10 men. So proper teams, you know, teams that are really at the top end of the league. So they're clearly a good side. It's good that I got to watch Torquay and Gateshead in one game because obviously they were playing against each other. And then I have to say, I thought they played really well at Ormshot the weekend and Foreign deserved to get the three points there. So um, yeah, we're, we're, it's always a big thing for me, you know, respect the opponents, respect the strengths that they have and they clearly have, um, but try and focus on what we can do to try and make us good on the day. and then. Hopefully, if we perform, that'll be good enough to get us, you know, point three points wherever it'll be. Just like us, then on the weekend, they got a fantastic win away on the road. They've got a few games in hand on the uh, the ones around them in the relegation zone, so they'll be really looking to start strong against us, won't they? Yeah, uh, look, all, all every team in this league's the same. It's, um, you're away when you pick up any sort of results away from home, and that's a massive plus. But then you want to, you know, you want your home to be good. And I think Gates said getting himself out of the the tricky position, which I think they will get themselves out of the truth, we do believe that, I think will come down to their home form. I think they've got quite a few home games left to play. Um, There's a tough place to go and play football, they can sort of play how they want to there as well. So yeah, they've got they've got loads to play for at the end of this season. I think the, the home form will make sure that they stay in the league and then they've obviously got the FA Trophy semi-final as well. So lots for them to play for at the end of this season. But um, you know, same with us, we want to try and back up getting a positive result on Saturday. You know, we want to try and back up what we did on Saturday, leading to us being at home stalking at the weekend. So, um, be a long journey, a tough place to go and play to try and get three points on a Tuesday night. Um, but that's our aim, that's our focus, and 
you know, I'm really grateful for anyone that's making the journey as well. You know, I know on a Tuesday night going all that way, so any fans, and I know there's plenty that want to do it, they can't. Really um, grateful that the ones that are going to be making the journey to be there to support me and the boys tonight.